Hold on. What's up, guys? You're back in the sports oven. Let's get bacon. Past two weeks, I haven't been able to do any preview or review videos, but I'll do a quick recap of the two weeks that I missed with the major matches and go right into week 12 preview. So let's go. Let's start with the week 10 matches pretty quickly. So Manchester United beat Tottenham one year. Pretty much deserved a much better showing than the Liverpool match. Imagine if Mourinho had played the Liverpool match like he played the Tottenham match, I'm sure he would have won. Arsenal beat Swansea 2 1. Pretty even game, you could say. Um, Arsenal came back from a goal behind. Crystal Palace 2 2. Zaha yet again. 3 0 to Liverpool. To me, that was expected. Watford lost the stroke. Wasn't expecting that. Watford dominated but still lost. West Bromwich lost to Manchester City, which was expected. Manchester City could stop scoring. Chelsea beat Bournemouth 1 0, which was expected. Draw between Brighton and Southampton, both struggled to score, so I expected that. Let's still beat Everton 2 0. So that's week 10 matches. So yeah, I did miss a match. So Burnley beat Newcastle 1 0. Expected they've been pretty strong at home this season. So on to week 11. So Stoke drew 2 all with Leicester, for us still beat West Bromwich 1 0. Newcastle lost to FC Bournemouth 1-0, Southampton lost to Burnley 1-0, Swansea lost to Brighton 1-0, West Ham lost to Liverpool 4-1. In the Sunday game, Tottenham beat Crystal Palace 1-0, Manchester City beat Arsenal in the big game of the first big game of the day, and then Manchester United lost 1-0 to Chelsea. Now this was a match which you have to blame Mourinho to me because the first part of the match Man United played and then they were pretty much even with Chelsea. In the second half, Moyna had them backed off into their shell, which gave Chelsea that impetus to come forward and in the end they did lose. The last match was a topsy turvy one with Everton coming from 2 0 down to beat Watford. So, all in all, that's week 12 matches. The past two game weeks have thrown out big matches after big matches Tottenham versus Manchester United, Arsenal versus Man City, Man United versus Chelsea. And this week is no different. The Premier League back from the international break starts with a bang. That's right, it's Tottenham versus Arsenal. That's the North London Derby, folks. Alright, so all of the big hitters are back for Tottenham. So Ali and Spurs are fit to play. For Arsenal, there have been no injury news, so they should be good to go. Now, this match I can only see a draw. I know, funny, but I can see a draw. Andre Lacazette is in good form. Sanchez and Ozil. Like I said, just scored two goals for France against Germany. Ozil in on two assists. So I am looking forward to seeing this match. Then the other match to maybe look at will be Manchester United versus Newcastle. Pogba should be back as well. So I'm hoping for upturning performances. So I'm looking for a comfortable 2 0 win. The Tottenham match, as I said, is a draw. I go for a 2 2 draw. Right, let me just run through the other matches now. So, Bournemouth versus Huddersfield. I see a Bournemouth win, seeing as Bournemouth are at home. Burnley versus Swansea. I see Burnley winning 1 0 because they're pretty strong defensively and Swansea haven't got their stuff together really. They're pretty, pretty decent, but Burnley are on a very, very good run in the league. Crystal Palace versus Everton. Now, I want to say Everton will come good now that they have Unzuet, but. I'm still not seeing the balance and they're still playing Ashley Williams who is absolute crap to me. So I'm going for a Crystal Palace with 2-1 and the next match is Leicester vs Man City. I can't see anything but a City win. I'm going for a 2-0 win. Everybody's on form. Um, Aguero had a scare in the Argentina match over the recent internationals. So I'm not sure he will start. He fainted. So I'm hoping he is good though because we don't like no matter what team where a player comes from, we don't want anything to happen to them. Liverpool versus Southampton. I can't see anything but Liverpool winning. I'm going for 3-1. And um, West Brom is Chelsea. Chelsea are back on form. They beat Man United last game week. So I'm going for Chelsea win 2-0. The other match which is on Sunday is Watford versus West Ham. No, I'm not so sure David Moyes will get everybody up to speed so fast now that he is in charge. So I'm going for a Watford win 1-0. The final match of this week would be Brighton versus Stoke. And based on how Brighton are playing compared to Stoke, I'm going for a Brighton win one day. Right, so as I said, the North London Derby is the biggie for this week. Ali and Kane, sorry, should be back. So let's see how that game pans out. I do expect a draw, but hmm, who knows? So with that being said, thanks a lot guys for watching. 
please like share and don't forget to subscribe it's always a pleasure thanks for your support peace